Hey everyone, Michael here. I'm in my backyard to talk a little bit about beautyberry today. So it's one of my favorite native plants, and um, this is it behind me. Uh, most people know beautyberry because in the fall it has this incredible um, color. Its real name is Calicarpa americana, and it's called beautyberry because it has clusters of beautiful purple berries that stay on the stems after it loses its leaves in the fall. So, it's the middle of April, and as you can see, it's just now starting to get its leaves back. Um, this actually makes an excellent, excellent plant for your yard. Um, the, the, the shrubs can get pretty big, but you could also keep them back with pruning if you want them to be a little smaller. Um, and it's also a native plant, so uh, beautyberry is actually accustomed to the climate of, of this area, um, and so it's incredibly low maintenance. Now if you have some beautyberry, this is also the best time to prune it. So all of its energy is focused on new growth, and so any cuts that you make will heal very quickly. You can identify the strongest branches of the plant because they'll have the, the largest and the, the most vigorous new growth. You can also identify branches that didn't make it through the winter, like this one, um, and you know exactly where to cut it back to, wherever the um, green's popping out. So, that's what Beautyberry looks like in the spring. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or email us at uh, preserve at auburn.edu. And come out to the Crayer Preserve and Nature Center. There's plenty of Beautyberry out there. Um, now you know what to look for. See you soon.